Hello world, this is WhatsUp290, and today I'm going to show you how to run Mac OS X 10.12 Sierra on your on Windows PC. There's going to be a couple things you're going to need. This Mac OS X Sierra operating system virtual disk, which can be downloaded from Google Drive right here, and also the VMware Unlocker file you're going to be downloading here, and you're going to need VMware Workstation and 7-Zip. This won't work in VirtualBox. These links will be in the description. So what you're going to want to do is make sure, once, those are, once all those are done downloading and you have VMware Workstation installed, make sure VMware Workstation is fully closed. So what you're going to want to do is extract this unlocker208.zip file, then open the extracted file, right click on win install cmd and click run as administrator and then click yes and wait for, and you'll see like a command prompt window come up and wait for that to finish. What it's doing there is getting the necessary tools for VMware to run Mac OS X. So what you're going to want to do is use 7-zip to extract this, to extract the, uh, the Mac OS X 10.12 Sierra by Tech Reviews folder. You download it from, file you, you download from Google Drive and you'll get this. Once you've done that, you just want to open up VMware. We have our workstation, and then go file, new virtual machine, typical, I will install the operating system later, check this one, and then check Apple Mac OS X, and what you actually want to do is don't check 10.12 because they don't have the firmware for, they don't, the, what you want to do is check 10.11 because even though we're run, it's 10.12, we're running, it just works a lot better if you check 10.11 because well, I guess we emerge more familiar with it, with that, but we're actually going to be running 10.12. So just you can name your virtual machine whatever you want. I'm going to name it Mac OS X Sierra, and this is where your virtual machine will be saved. You can change that if you want by just clicking browse and then clicking OK and where you where you want to save it, and then just click next. Oh, let's name it. Click store virtual. This is a single file, and then set how much memory you want to be able to you want to donate. You want your uh, Mac OS X 10.12 virtual machine to be able to use it on your hard drive. And I'm going to set it to 100 gigs. You can set it to whatever you want, but I recommend at least 40 gigabytes. Because that's how much. Because just I recommend at least 40 gigabytes. So just click next, and then click customize hardware. Drag this up to about four gigabytes. This is how much RAM it's going to be able to use when it's on. Then just click finish. So once that's done, all you have to do, what you're going to want to do here, is click edit virtual machine settings, and then click. Add virtual disk, click yes, click, I mean don't, sorry, just click add, click select hard disk, SATA, and then use an existing virtual disk. Browse, and then select, go to your, and then what you're going to want to do is go to the extracted file you downloaded from Google Drive. And just click open. Then select this file here, this Mac OS X 10.12 Sierra VMDK file. Click finish, and then click OK. Now, there's something else we need to do before going to the before we can turn the virtual machine on. If you try and turn it on now, you'll just get like an error message. What you're going to want to do is go to virtual machines, your virtual machines file VMware, which you can just click on this icon and then just type virtual machines and it should come up. Go to your virtual machine folder, right click on the VMX file, then just click open with notepad. Go to the bottom and add and add this line. Or the actual line is SMC version equals zero. 
That's the actual one. I made a mis I messed up earlier. Sorry about that. Click save. Close it. Click power on the virtual machine. And then it may take a while to boot up. And we've got the Apple logo. So it is now booting up the Mac OS 10.12 Sierra operating system. And it is now running Mac OS X. Now it's going to go through the Mac OS X setup screen where it's going to have you like sign into your Apple account and all that before it will like choose to enable, um, virtual, and choose to enable location services. Uh, and I don't want to make you guys sit through that because you can just go through it yourself because you have to input your information anyway. So I'm going to pause the video and go through that and join up when we're done. Now there's just one more thing we need to do, which is to install VMware Tools. So what you want to do is just click VM, click install VMware Tools, which will be right here, and then this window should pop up. But if you get an error that says like, can't install VMware Tools because Mac OS X is using the disk, I'm going to show you how I had to figure that out and I'm going to show you how I figured out how to fix that. That's worked for me. Shut the virtual machine down and click settings. Then go to heart, then go to the, go to the hard disk you created when we first started making this virtual machine, click it, click advanced and then change this till it says and then change this till it, till it till it says SATA zero zero and that's and that worked for me then go up here and change this and, t and click then go to the Mac OS X hardest tech reviews VMDK click advanced no wait sorry change change the uh, Mac OS X Sierra image to SATA zero zero hard disk click OK then go to hard disk two. Then go to the hard disk you created when you created this virtual machine and change it so it says 002. What this does is changes the boot sequence so that it boots into Mac OS X first and then and then boot and then boots up your the the, ver, the hard drive you created second. One thing that might possibly happen that happened to me that I had to figure out was that it boot, it booted up the the vir my my hard drive virtual hard drive I created for this virtual machine and then booted up Mac OS X as a secondary partition, which caused problems installing VMware tools because it because it just because Mac OS X was using that separate partition and I was and I had me logged into a different to a different machine. So once you've done that, click VM and then click install VMware tools and it should work. So what all you have to do now is just click install VMware tools and give it a minute to come up. Then just click continue and click continue. Install. Then just type in the password you set for your OSX account. Click install software and click continue installation. You're gonna to have to restart your virtual machine. Then just wait for it to finish. So once that's done, all I have to do is just restart your virtual machine, and then that's it. I won't make you guys sit through that, and, but I'm going to go through some features that Mac OS X Sierra has of that previous versions of Mac OS X did not have. Obviously it has a new version of Safari and all that, but you can probably go on and Google search all the new features, I'm not going to go over all of them, but it also has a built-in Siri application. So basically it has Siri built into it. 
and that's pretty cool. And as you can see, other than that, it looks just like a whole bunch, like basically most of the other Mac OS X operating systems. So yeah, but yeah, you can now run Mac OS X operating, now run Mac OS X on your Windows or Linux computer. So once that's done, just click restart. And then that's it, you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off.